Fitness Friday, and before you break out your summer wardrobe, you want to make sure your arms are looking toned. So here with some simple ideas we can all do at home is life coach and personal trainer, Allie McWilliams. And Allie, these are great because guess what? We don't have to invest into any equipment. All you have to do is have some floor space, right? That's right. So no excuses. So that means you can get up right now and do them with us. All right. Walk us through the first one. We're going to talk about push-ups. So you can do these on your knees or toes. You choose. Abs are in tight. We're going to do three-point push-ups. So that means you're going to do tricep ones first, so your abs are in tight, hands are underneath your shoulders, so you're going to do eight of those. Then you're going to walk them out, regular push-ups, you're going to do ten of those. Then you're going to walk out as far as you can without falling and slipping, and you're going to do twelve of those, so nice and wide. Then you're going to walk back in, and you're going to do ten regular ones, walk back in, and do eight tricep ones. And you're really going to feel the burn, so you got to push through, right? Yep, that's your, your arms going to be on fire done. and your core. Okay, go ahead and take us to the next exercise. So we're going to do walking planks. So you're just going to, again, knees or toes, you choose down, down, up, up. So abs are in tight. Mm -hmm. You're going to do 8 to 10 with one lead, and then you're going to switch, and you're going to go the other lead. So it's a lot of triceps, arms, shoulders, again, core. Remember, if you want to make it harder, you can always come up onto your toes. You choose. So there's always a lot of options, there's so again, no options. excuses. That's right. Now this next one I think is kind of fun and kind of channels your inner childhood it play does. days. So you're going to do a little crab walk, so all you're going to do is just going to walk, it depends on how much space you have, you're just going to walk forward and back, 30 seconds to a minute. And what's great about this is it's not only your arms, but it's also mm -hmm. your backside, so your core and your butt. And again, if you have kids at home, it's a great way to it get them involved, challenge them a little bit too. It is. All right, we're going to move right along, going into number four. So we're going to do some jabs. So you're just going to, abs are in tight, and you're just going to do some jabs. So again, abs are in tight, feet shoulder width apart, relax your shoulders, mm -hmm. and you're just jabbing it out. And you can bring up your heart rate. It works your arms for about 30 seconds to a minute. Yeah, and maybe get some aggression out that you've been building <laughs> up over the Who day, right? Who has aggression or stress? Especially when the weather's nice. Exactly. Go outside and do this. And then exactly. we've got one more for us to wrap it up, right? So we're going to do dips. So again, if you don't, you can use a chair. I'm sure a lot of you have a chair. You're just going to come down and up, so make sure you bend your elbows. So instead of dropping your butt, it's your elbows that are bent. So come down and up. So you're going to do about 12 or 15 of these. And again, do as many as you can. And then if you can't do a whole lot right now, work your way up, right? That's right. So you can just keep adding more. You can go through and do this twice or even three times. You could do this three times a week. And if you want to just mix it in with some of your workout already that you're doing, that's great too. Sure. Lots Allie, of variety. Thanks so much for being with us. And Thank of course, you. if you want to get a recap of all of these exercises or check out Allie's blog, we have a link posted over at NBC15.com under news links. Stay with us. We're going to have a final check of your forecast right after this.